Yeah. I thought we'd done good this. Oh my god. There are two Lukes and this Luke comes back. This is, this is scary.
thinking of like you know thousands of Russian tanks going through mud you know like inexorable so it, the grind of going through you know, da, 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 da. so it does you know so to play in a way where it doesn't stop da, 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 You know, and then you do that, and then it's like da 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 and then da da da. You know, it's like each time it's it's you just have more and more and more energy. You thought that this wave was gone, 
there's another way. In the same way that we felt that in the Brahms, uh, not to overdo the forte, but to kind of, to, but to make it more inexorable. I think, for example, you know, um, even in the beginning, I just thought that, uh, uh, you know, just like, um, <laughs> something like bones, skeleton, because before, you know, it's, it's that you cannot do, and, and I think what I mean by, um, um, so, So just know, be efficient in your use of, uh, of, of, of and, and know that if you need to perform, you need to develop kind of a, 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 a callus over like seven days. So you do a little bit, let it harden, do it a little harden, you know, and then you have a callus. I get blisters every time because I overdo it, and then of course you're like in pain, and that's, but you don't want to do that. Um, uh, in 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 the in the in the third movement, I think that um, making sure that you again making sure it's beautiful. You get that absolutely beautiful. That's uh, I love the way Corelli this came out. This phrasing was good, but when you finish a phrase, da 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 da, or you you hand it off to somebody else. Make sure you don't end the phrase, that you actually are passing it on. And by passing it on, this is one of those things, it's like less measurable, but you actually think that you are playing to the rest rather than descending into silence. You're playing, that, like what we did before uh, in the Bach, da-da-da, da-da, da-da-da. 
ba da. If you create sort of like this is one note, the volume, and the next note is, let's say, naturally the ear might want to say da da. You might should go da. You can do that by using a faster bow on the second note, but sort of. Uh, so you could actually play dynamically less, but with, let's say, with faster speed. It's like throwing a ball and you put a spin on it, and it actually goes faster and it like slows down. So you could do something contradictory with sound that actually makes the pause that follows that note pregnant. Ba do you, do you mean that the sound sounds almost actually louder? It's like you almost it feel as like as if you feel it's on, or it's more intense, and that is something that makes a phrase go longer. It's like when I was joking with Henry, sort of like, and suddenly, simply, softly, but with more, you know. Okay, this guy's really weird. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you suddenly are uncomfortable because it's like you created some kind of weird expectation until I break out of it, and then you know. You, you get, so you can do that with phrases. That's really that's a that's a that's a that's a uh, that's actually a physics thing that you, you're actually making this the softer note actually have a different state of energy, even though it is by volume softer. So you think like, you know, alchemy? No, it's actually something you can practice and do. Like imagination, you can build, you can build up. Um, uh, what other questions? Um, I yeah. have a question. <coughs> There's a place in the last moment toward the end where he notates molto del rato. Um, What's your take on that? It's such a quiet place. And it's, it, it's such a counterintuitive uh, marking. And, and it, we talked about it, and I, I'm wondering whether he wants, he knows it's harmonic, so he wants the vibrato, but he knows he has to get something, uh, mm -hmm. he has to get, in order to get any vibrato, he might have, I don't know. Um, I think it's, it's probably one more state of surreal thing, because so that, let's say, you know, I'm always thinking that everybody that's writing something is thinking about normal, abnormal. So we're all, it, it's like, uh, it's pattern recognition. Anything you look at life, you look normal, you don't look normal. You look normal <laughs> today you look abnormal. You look normal yesterday, you look abnormal. You, I mean, it's like, that's how we factor, you know, safe, not safe. Basically, hungry, not hungry. And it's like, so we know something that's coded in about harmonics. It's, you know, otherworldly. But maybe this is otherworldly, but then ghostly. You know, you add something onto something that is already something that you know, and yet it's different. So I hear these harmonics, but now it comes like, you know, sounds like Xanfir and, you know, the, the pipe, you know, it's like, you know, maybe that's, uh, you know, a, 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 an offshoot of theremin, you know, the, the, those, uh, of that. It's like, okay, this, it could have a specific reference, but I would say in coded language, it's something that you know with an added value, which has to mean something even more twisted. So I would probably go towards something like that's ghostly. So all the people that died, all the people that kind of were killed, you are the narrator, narrator you're talking, you're kind of, so, so I was witness, the reason I'm writing this, writing this music is because I want you to know that this happened. You know? So I'm Dimitri Shostakovich, okay? And here at the end, I want you to know that these were living people. So instead of, you know, this is a mass graveyard. We actually see only the uh, 
the, the lawn that is now over it. We don't see the bodies, whatever. But then, as you, you know, this could be any battlefield, but then I want you to know at the end of the story that Solotinsky was my friend and you hear, you know, that remnant. It's like sort of something plus life. You know, vibrato usually means something that is, right? But you know, you could, so even if you don't play the, the you know, like. It in whatever way that you think is, is, it's not vibrato, you know, but maybe not vibrato as per usual, but something uh, you just kind of, you know, just, just go. Just, um, so, well, you kind of go, yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just kind of move it around so that you, within the realm of acceptable, you, you actually get some sound and then, you know, you kind of bend it. But, but, and for everything, there's a, that's why you never play something without character, without purpose, without sort of thinking that you know there's emotion, there's a you know there's a wave, there's there's something that is activating it, and you're joining that, right? Which you did really beautifully, very convincingly. I think. <laughs> That makes sense. I think Slava played one. We once played this trio for Slava, the Ruster Brothers. It was great because he, you know, it was, it was just like a great moment because, you know, he kind of, it's like, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, uh, did, did he, did he pre premiere it, right? Was he? I'm trying to think. I'm not sure I don't think that so. he did. I don't think so, no. It was premiered in 1945. That would have been a little too early. Yeah. I think what he said was that Shostakovich wrote the beginning of the trio and asked once had a piece of paper and said, you know, will you, can you, is this possible? Da, 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 which is impossible to do. And, <laughs> and, and he did it perfectly. <laughs> and I played it absolutely. <laughs> and, and so he, the next thing, happens that that's part of the truth. He said, and that's the last time I was able to play <laughs> But it's in the, it's in the music. Um, yeah. The fact that I think it's mezzo forte is actually more significant. You know, it's like, it's whatever you had before was the, the, the memorialization of something. And now it's like after all this shebang and all that, it's oh, version of that. It's no longer so toy and it's more, you know, uh, yeah, da, da, you know, that is mm -hmm. a slower, softer, tired version of, of what was the, you know, the Jewish theme of, of I think hunger or something. I think I'm hungry. It's a, it's a, it's a, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm,